Keeping fish moving in streams and allowing fish to swim freely sustains overall health and genetic diversity of fish, and it benefits anglers, making fisheries more resilient and productive. Drivers along Interstate 25 going through the town of Buffalo in Wyoming will cross Clear Creek as they come into town, and it's here where the Wyoming Game and Fish Department and the Wyoming Department of Transportation rehabilitated a 700-foot-long segment of Clear Creek to allow for greater fish movement, provide cover for the fish, and improve the reach as an in-town option for anglers. For years, fish could move downstream through this segment, but an 11-foot grade control structure kept fish from coming back to spawn. Add in low water flows during the summer and fall months, and the result was basically a one-way creek that wasn't meeting its potential. Wyoming Game and Fish Department aquatic habitat biologist Travis Cundy says the work completed ranged from removing the structure and replacing it with alternating riffles and pool features. We are creating steepened riffles that then go into a pool and allow energy to dissipate during high flows. Those pools will provide resting areas and cover for fish that can then navigate up this system over those deep and riffles during periods when they need to try to uh, seek refuge or to try to go and find spawning habitat. Stream flows here drop to less than five feet per cubic second during the summer and fall months leaving the rainbow and trout that live here with shallow or minimal cover, making things hard on the fish when warm water temperatures occur. Opening up more passage for the fish allows them to escape all of that. Indeed, the project is expected to open up an additional 10 miles of Clear Creek, providing more habitat for the fish and more opportunity to anglers. Clear Creek is a main tributary of the Powder River, which is the longest unrestricted prairie river in North America. It flows 430 miles from its headwaters in Wyoming to the Yellowstone River in eastern Montana. This was a project that was years in the making. In addition to coordinating with YDOT, who provided the majority of funding for the $530,000 project, Funding was also provided by the department's Wildlife Trust Fund, the Clear Creek Conservation District, the Wyoming Wildlife Natural Resource Trust, and numerous other partners. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.